It has been a whirlwind of a week for an Orlando teen. She's breaking barriers after being named homecoming queen. The transgender teen says she hopes her story will help other teens in the LGBTQ plus community who are going through a rough time. News 6's Carolina Cardona has the story. On September 27th, Evan Bielosuknia was crowned homecoming queen at Olympia High School, making history as Orlando's first transgender teen to be recognized with that honor. It didn't feel real. That's the best way I can put it. It was like so happy, but like, I was like, is this reality? To be so confident and so brave at 17 years old, is it makes my husband and I really, really proud. A life-changing experience for the 17-year-old who in June came out to her parents as transgender. But her mom says they weren't surprised. Before that, Evan had told them that as a boy, he was gay. I think that was kind of like an easier transition for Evan to start by saying I'm gay because then Evan could, you know, be a little bit more feminine. We weren't surprised when this, when Evan told us because... Mm -hmm. You know, from the time of age two, Evan at the age two and a half told us, you know, I want to be a girl. Marnie says the transition will be a long process and their family will be with her every step of the way with unconditional support and love. It is it is difficult and, you know, there is a lot of mental health amongst the LGBTQ youth, especially transgender. And I think that you, as a parent, you have to recognize that and you have to recognize that you have to you have to be an advocate for your child. Evan, what have you learned about yourself throughout this whole process? That it gets better throughout, because I went through really bad depression and anxiety. Marnie says they don't expect their story to change the minds of those who may not see eye to eye, but it could offer hope to others. For the younger kids that are out there that are younger than Evan, maybe going through this and are having those really difficult, dark, you know, dark times to see, wow, you know what? There, there's a light at the end. You know, you can you can be whoever you want to be. Especially for those kids out there, doesn't mean you're any l lower or any like different from anyone else. You're not weird or a loser because that's what a lot of like kids feel like they are. They feel like they're not wanted and loved when you mm -hmm. are, and you're all beautiful. In Orlando, Carolina Cardona, News Six. The teen's mom says she hopes five years from now this would not be considered newsworthy because anybody, regardless of their gender or sexual orientation, will be accepted.